All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, Doug, is uh, our, he's starting to, he's starting to kind of give us a little bit of attention now. Uh, but this is, you know, see how he, he walked up here to me, but he walked, put me kind of halfway. That's a dominant move. People sometimes confuse that with, oh, he loves me. And that's more of a dominant move. He can, if, if I do something that's going to make him feel uncomfortable, he can kick me or he can hit me with his shoulder right here. And it, it's kind of uh, it's kind of like the horse is warning me, and then too he's wanting to just see, you know, what I'm made of, if I'm going to be a leader, or if I'm going to be a dictator, or if I'm going to be weak. And uh, you can see how he's bumping me here. He's just he's just kind of testing me. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is I really need to get this horse's as much of his attention as I can. He does know how to back up. So we're going to start with the back up first. You can see how he keeps wanting to come up. So we need to start working on patience here. So each time he makes a step forward, I'm going to right immediately back him up. And then once he starts focusing on me a little bit more. Every time he does that, I'm also going to back him up. Because when he starts doing that, his attention leaves me and it goes to there. And I want to correct that. I want, to, I want him to know that every time he thinks about even doing that, that he better get his attention back on me. And, and when they finally settle down, then you need to take some of your pressure off of him. Now he's probably, he just moved a step and he's probably gonna move in a little bit. And you just do this again and then take your pressure off. Just, you know, still have an eye on him, but this is, this is telling your horse again that, hey, I just want you to understand that you don't have to be nervous, you don't have to be moving, and I'm not going to hurt you. A predator right now would attack. A predator would never take his eyes off of his prey. And this is another thing that he's, you know, he's, he's trying to figure out. So when I do this, I'm even going, you know, even farther, I'm saying, hey, I want, to, I want us to be partners. I want us to be friends. I want to take all the pressure off of you. I want you to trust me. You know, we have to trust them right off the bat. People think that horses ought to do things so that we trust them. That's totally wrong. We have to trust them. But we have to be aware. We, you know, we can trust them because if we know enough about horse psychology, then we're going to know why this horse is doing what he's doing. Now he's starting to lower his head and he's starting to get some curiosity. So that tells us that he's starting to think. Now there's going to be a moment or two, all of a sudden he's going to say, hey, I, I forgot, I need to be paying attention to my, to my buddies. So we're starting to starting to build some rapport here, some communication, and uh, that's the start of it. A lot of times, Doug, we get started and we want to do the groundwork. Like, like most of the time, people would already be doing, uh, you know, other exercises, or they would have already been done with this and on to something else. Instead, I'm wanting to make some progress in this. here come on up here and you do this for a little bit a 
good. Now he's looking the other way. I mean, those are good signs. He's, he's looking around a lot. He's not looking so much at where his buddy is. He's looking to the left and he's looking to the right, which is telling us that he still feels like he needs to be alert on things that could hurt him. Does that make sense? He doesn't trust us enough yet to be his eyeballs for him. We want him to go, hey, now I can be a horse. I can graze. I can do whatever because my leader is here with me and my leader is watching out for me. Okay, let's go ahead and bump him. Bump him and back him up. Okay, back him up. Okay, now Doug, just walk off and lead him around. Now you're gonna even take even more pressure or go this way, go that way. Whichever, go the opposite way and just turn around and walk off. But kind of keep an eye on him, on you. There you go. And now back him up. There you go. Okay, turn around and walk off. Head's coming down. He's looking, he's not totally relaxed, but he's getting there. Good. Okay, right there, that was kind of a blow off. It's kind of like he's, you know, we, we know that he doesn't quite understand this yet. So now just turn around and walk off. Okay, if he gets to going, okay, now turn around and back him up again. And go ahead and try to get him in front of you. And if you have to help him out with that, you can cross over and get in front of him. Okay, turn around and walk off. Now he's starting to get curious in different things. So this is good. Good. Turn around and just walk off. Excellent. Okay, walk off. Okay, let him just stand. Okay, walk off. If he stops in his tracks, then don't back him up. Okay. Now when, oh, okay. Now when I say Back him up when you turn around, like now, back him up. When you turn around, be backing him up because he's getting too close. He's speeding up on you a little bit. Okay? We're going to talk about space here in a second. Okay, stop, back him up. He's a little bit too close. We want him to stop four to six feet behind you. Okay, turn around, walk off. That's good. Get, Doug, take, get, give him even more slack. Get, our goal is to get to where we're about right here, and then when we turn around, he's about right in there. Okay. All right, go. Doing good, buddy. Okay, watch your slack there. There you go. You can kind of pick that slack up with that other hand so we don't step on it. Okay. There you go, good read, good read. Feel that slack in your hand. That's, this is where you'll start learning. Feel, good job. <laughs> you 
Good. Okay, just bring him right up the middle, Doug. Where's Kai at? Oh, there she is. Okay. All right, stop right there. All right, now walk up here and rub him. His head's gonna come up. Just rub him on his neck. Rub him on his neck. Okay, so right there, you know, we did a lot of releasing the pressure from the horse. So first we did it, our release of pressure is when we asked him with the lead rope to back up and then when he did, then we would stop. The second was when we turned sideways and we would take part of our body, uh, energy, part of our body's energy off of him. And then the third was when you just turned around and started leading him. Said here, you know, here, I'm, I trust you completely to be behind me, to stay out of my space, and to stop when I stop. See, he started, he, when, what I like about that too is when you're leading your horse and you turn around and you stop and he stops, that's telling you that how much focus he has on you. That makes sense? Yeah. If you stop and he keeps going, and then all of a sudden he goes, oh, okay. Then he's probably got 50-50. He's still in his mind, he's still thinking.